as early as next week a new gpu card with 48 gb of vram is going to be released and not by nvidia but by a partner of intel social media is buzzing with this news which is still not confirmed by intel but seems quite solid this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel the thing is that we are starving for gpu cards they are simply either not available or if they are available they are very very expensive and that is where we are seeking help recently there's been news about a possible dual gpu variant of the intel arc b580 graphics card according to reliable sources one of intel's board partner is preparing a graphics card featuring not just one but two arc b580 gpus with a combined total of 48 gigabytes of memory 24 gpu for each gpu this is not something we typically see in the consumer gpu space anymore and if the plan stays on track we might see a full reveal at the upcoming computex show and i believe that is happening in taiwan next week let's talk through what this actually mean and what we know so far first we should clarify this is not a standard mass market intel release it's a special project by one particular board partner and may even remain exclusive to them also it's not intended as a gaming card with that much memory and twin gpus on board this card is much more likely aimed at people working on ai model inference ai multi-modality and especially large language model training where having extra vram can make a huge difference so that is why i'm very very interested and curious about this new release if you know the background you will remember that for years nvidia has really set the pace in the ai and compute gpu market cards like the 3090 and its follow-ups have been pretty much required if you want to run bigger and more advanced ai workloads locally that's created a barrier both in terms of cost and availability with a kind of monopoly effect which we have seen if you want big local models you typically need nvidia hardware and that has been the lay of the land for quite some time now intel or its partner entering the space with a 24 gb b5 80 and especially with this rumored dual gpu 48 gb configuration suddenly opens a new door which is very very heartening for those interested in local ai projects or working with more demanding compute for clothes geared towards ai such as rag maybe more memory generally means you can run larger models keep more data in fast storage and potentially do work that otherwise would require expensive professional cards there are a few technical questions that come up and needs to be answered and we need to evaluate them objectively and that is the whole purpose of this video one is how the memory will be accessed will the two gpus be able to share memory or will each operate in its own lane historically most dual gpu cards didn't combine the memory in a way that applications saw the full pool as one big block but even if that's the case here just having two big vram pools can be useful for certain workloads especially where you can split job between the two or run multiple models in parallel or even just split the shards of the model in those two pools another point to consider is market competition if intel and its partner can actually ship these cards at competitive prices compared to nvidia's top offerings it could put real pressure on nvidia to adapt either through pricing availability or through supporting a wider range of platforms and tools as things stand today a lot of ai frameworks are heavily optimized for nvidia sometimes to the exclusion of others stronger competition and more hardware options could help drive more open support and broader broader compatibility compatibility for other platforms including intel's and that's a key point here in my opinion 
so for ai enthusiasts this is also a rare chance to see a return to multi gpu cards in the consumer class segment which has been off the radar for years dual gpu boards used to be more common but support fell off as software and driver support didn't really keep up with ai and compute driving interest in bigger pools of local memory we might see renewed attention to making these configurations easier to use even if they are niche compared to standard single gpu in gaming cards a related note is that a single gpu which is 24 gb arc b580 card has basically been confirmed as well which we already covered on the channel though it sounds like it will arrive later not in the next few months it seems but nothing is confirmed yet so this dual gpu effort may come first as a kind of limited run or proof of concept with broader availability on the single gpu 24 gb models later on either way more options for local ai and compute users can only be a good thing one more thing worth noting changes like this don't just impact hardware prices and features but can eventually flow through into the wider ai ecosystem if running more advanced models locally becomes practical for more people, we are going to see more experimentation and innovation in fields like language models, maybe AI art, or even serious training or fine tuning. With as much as uh, dependence on expensive data centers or cloud infrastructure will be thing of past. Hopefully, that is my dream. It makes high performance computing and AI more accessible, which can really trigger both professional and hobbyist progress. So to wrap up, if you go through social media, just search with RB580, you would know what I mean. And um, I think things really, really look very hopeful in that regard. So Intel's board partners seem ready to challenge the status quo with this unusual but potentially significant dual GPU 48 GB ARC B580. The details on pricing, driver support and how memory is handled will be key. But even just expanding the available options in this space is a welcome change. It's a positive sign for competition, for accessibility and ultimately for the pace of progress in AI and compute heavy tasks in my opinion. Nothing confirmed, but one, uh, but it seems on social media, consensus, consensus seems to be that it might be somewhere around 600 US dollar for this card, but nothing is confirmed. So let's wait and see what the pricing comes out. Now, before I let you go, I also want to introduce you to iGenPort. iGenPort lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge board across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description that's it for today if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching